In a world of noise, do you want to find your voice? Do you sometimes feel ignored? Do you want to break the silence and make your voice count? If the answers to these questions are yes, you are in the right spot. Most guys are shunned for voicing their opinions. We will teach you some dark psychological tricks. These tricks will instantly make your presence godly. When you get ignored, it hurts. It is damaging to your respect as well. People won't respect you if you can't even communicate your point. Respect is everything for men, and when that is snatched from them, things will get ugly for everyone. By the end of this video, you will turn your voice into a superpower and unleash it upon the world. Let's begin. Number 10. Kill the anxiety. If you are anxious, you automatically become weak. Nobody will care about what you have to say. It is especially true if the men sitting at your table are competitive. You must be a beast for a man. You must have that aura of confidence around you. You must be the master of the craft. Whatever skill you may have, be proud of it. If you don't have any skills, then stop being lazy. Get yourself up and walk into the sun. Work hard to build your skills. It will make you confident. If you are anxious, you will also make other people nervous. It makes whatever you say fall flat. It kills the alpha within you. Number 9. Expand your range. The range is the average acceptable behavior people expect from you. Within a specific range, you will be welcomed. But if you challenge someone, they might take great offense. That is out of their range. The range is very flexible and dynamic. The range expands with power. To gain power, you must work hard. For example, a highly valued person can say many things without repercussions. A man who is in power will have a lot of alternatives when it comes to women. He can get another girl if he gets turned down by one. If you have a lot of power, you have a lot of leeway to behave. But if you lack power, your ability to say stuff decreases. You will get punished in some shape or form if you step out of your range. You may even get ignored, which is the death of self-respect. Number 8. Perspective Taking You must be able to advocate for yourself. It must be demanded subtly and majestically. The best way to do that is to use a hack that only a few people know about. It is known as perspective taking. It is more straightforward than it sounds. Anyone can use this trick, but only a few know about it. Learn to look at the world through the eyes of others. It will help you understand others. You will respond more efficiently. Since others will catch on slowly, you can easily assert dominance by outwitting them all. Don't be self-focused. If you do, you will never be able to demand respect. By advocating for others, you will find your voice. Because no one wants to hear about how many great qualities you have. Number 7. Flexibility of choices. Don't make hard and fast rules. Learn to be tolerant. Giving other people choices makes you more likely to get what you want. For example, you want to take a girl out for dinner. Ask her if she wants to eat Chinese or Indian food. Don't ask her if she wants to go out with you. Statistically, she is more likely to say no if asked bluntly. You will get what you want when given choices because you used psychology to trick them. You gave them no options subconsciously, and you scored big just like that. Giving people the flexibility to make choices lowers their defenses. It makes them vulnerable to your attacks. You can use this trick in any situation, whether negotiating better terms or something else. Number 6. Get noticed. The human mind is quick to make assumptions. According to research, it shows that females only take 7 seconds to form an opinion about you. That's a tiny window. Deep down, all humans are shallow, and they make an initial judgment. So ask yourself, what is the first thing people notice when they talk to you? It's your clothes. It's your hair and shoes. It's all about your appearance. It doesn't matter if you aren't Ryan Gosling. What matters is that you dress like Ryan Gosling. Impersonate his style. You may notice that his clothes are one level above the accepted attire, whatever the occasion. It makes you get noticed, so try that. You will get positive remarks and will be remembered. Number 5. Take more space. It is another way of asserting dominance. However, this is done in a very subtle manner. When sitting on the couch in a group, try to feel comfortable in your space. You can make big hand gestures that automatically ooze confidence. You can spread a bit across your entire chair. Try occupying as much space as comfortably possible. Spread your arms across the armrest of the sofa. You must sit asymmetrically. Don't infringe on other people's rights. You shouldn't make it a battle of dominance. 
The main aim is to convey a solid yet simple message. You aren't afraid of anyone. You aren't scared of showing your own body. Increase the space between the bottom of your ribs and your hips. It will make your posture much better, and you will look more prominent. The more space you occupy elegantly, the more respect you will demand from people. Number 4. Platonic Touch Platonic touch is crucial. It allows you to take a shortcut to emotional connection. When you have an emotional connection, people pay attention to you. They heed your words and value whatever comes out of your mouth. Touch builds a level of trust. It cultivates a feeling of safety. It is imperative for women to feel safe around you. However, it has to be done carefully. You should only touch people for five or six seconds. Any more than that will make them highly uncomfortable, even if they say they aren't. It will make them raise their guard. They will shun whatever you are going to tell them. Always keep your touch on the non-central parts of the body. It means you can touch the hands and the upper back, but anything beyond that is creepy. Number 3. Don't get bulldozed. It is the one thing that you must never allow. No matter what happens, always ensure you get your point across. People may think that it is polite to stop when someone interrupts. You must never allow that to happen. If it happens, you must raise your voice a little and continue what you are saying. Only stop when you have gotten your point across efficiently. When you allow someone else to bulldoze you to the side, it makes you look weak. Weak men aren't heard or valued. They are ignored completely. This act of staying quiet upon interruption signals that your opinion is of less value. If you have seen the Republican primaries held by CBS News in 2016, notice something. Trump can make his opponents look weak. He interrupts them with solid and straightforward comments, and they stay quiet. Number 2. Compliment the competition. Complimenting the competition will do something miraculous. If you salute your enemies, it throws them off track. Trying to insult your competition is a quick way to lose respect. Doing this will make you look weak and jealous. Complimenting your opponents takes a lot of confidence. It is a quality that most people will notice. When they notice this in you, they will respect what you say. Doing this will make people open to what you have to say. You can apply this to every aspect of your life. For example, in your workspace, complimenting some of your colleagues shows that you are fair, honest, and confident. If you badmouth them because your crush might like them, you look insecure and weak. Number 1. Accept your flaws. People can sense when you are overcompensating for something. The truth is, people will not judge you for your shortcomings. They will not care about your weaknesses. What truly matters is the way you perceive your weak points. If you are confident about your imperfections, it makes you attractive. It makes you look strong and bold. It shows that you will be comfortable in almost every situation, no matter what it is. You will have no insecurities if you quote the bad things about yourself. The best example of this is the movie Eight Mile. In the end, Eminem wins the rap battle by admitting his flaws. In the end, he says as he passes on the mic, Here, tell these people something they don't know about me. His opponent is utterly speechless. Eminem wins the battle, and the movie ends. Conclusion Having a loud and robust pose is crucial to getting your point across. You must have enough confidence to kill your anxiety. Because anxiety will also make other people nervous around you, Try to expand your range by accumulating power. Try to understand what the other person is saying. If you know their perspective, you have won the conversation. Make two different choices. Don't impose hard and fast rules on other people. Always wear the best of your wardrobe if you want to get a noticeable reaction from people. Feel comfortable in your surroundings. Touching in a platonic manner is beneficial. It will lay the foundation for trust and emotional connection. Always make sure to get your point across. Even if these tricks do not work out for you at the end of the day, don't feel disheartened. Keep working on them, no matter what happens. You will get your results sooner than you think. If you have made it this far, comment below with the word 100% to confirm that you have received the knowledge from this video. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.